Saturn, for most people, is by far the most awe-inspiring planet our solar system has to offer. So, Saturn's rings are magnificent, to say the least. And they have a very interesting history, too. Saturn's rings actually formed relatively recently, and yet they won't stick around for that long either. We exist in this golden pocket of time, where Saturn's rings are not only existent, but vibrant and clear as day. Today, in this video, I hope to show you a brief history on Saturn's rings, as well as their future and eventual demise. For most of Saturn's life, it probably didn't have rings whatsoever, which is odd to think about when you're used to seeing it with rings. These rings we see today only came about to be 100 million years ago, which may seem like a long time, but Saturn formed similar to Earth about 4.5 billion years ago. This means that Saturn's rings have only been around for about 1 45th, or 2.2% of its life. So, that first 97.8% of its life, it probably didn't have any rings at all. It isn't too hard to see what Saturn would have looked like without rings. In fact, here is an image where the rings are simply photoshopped out. Kind of weird to look at, right? Just another plain old gas giant without the rings. Anyways, if these rings are so recent, then how did they form? Well, the most popular theory is that one of Saturn's moons came too close to the planet and broke up after it passed the Roche limit. Every planet has a Roche limit, including Earth. But what is a Roche limit? A Roche limit is the minimum distance a moon or some other large celestial object must be away from the planet before it gets ripped apart by tidal forces. But in reality, scientists can't point to one definite source of the rings. For all we know, it was from a few comets, or maybe some asteroids, or who knows, maybe the rings have all of the above. Because these rings formed so long ago, and because we can't point to a definite source even when we know the exact composition of the ring particles, we simply can't tell at this time what the exact source of these rings were. But one thing is for sure, and that is that one or several celestial objects came too close to Saturn and subsequently got ripped apart by tidal forces. These initial chunks would then further collide with other chunks in orbit, breaking down further and further, until the rings stabilized from particles as small as a handful of molecules to pieces as big as boulders. Now that we've seen how and when Saturn's rings formed, let's look at how its rings will die. The best source we have for this issue is NASA themselves. First of all, some particles from Saturn's rings fall down through the atmosphere, towards the equator. This process is largely due to Saturn's gravitational pull, as well as drag from the few atmospheric particles apparent in the inner rings. But, there is another factor that shortens the ring's lifespan as well, a phenomenon known as ring rain. To explain ring rain, let me show you a visual representation. Now, as you see, Saturn's rings are outside the planet. I know, a bit obvious. But, that's to say, that they are exposed to the elements of space. This means that the particles that make up the rings are unprotected from the sun's harmful rays. These high-energy ultraviolet radiation charges the ice and dust that makes up the rings and are then pulled by Saturn's magnetic poles. This phenomenon is somewhat comparable to how our planet, Earth, pulls radiation and charged particles towards our poles, giving us the aurora borealis. Anyways, this means that over time, Saturn will consistently lose dust within its rings, as the sun is always shining on one side of the planet. In fact, Saturn loses an Olympic-sized swimming pool worth of water every 30 minutes. This endless cycle of ring rain, as well as particles falling towards the equator, is what will ultimately lead to the death of Saturn's rings. It won't be some spectacular finish. In fact, this means the ring's death will be as anticlimactic as can be. Saturn's rings will slowly fade away over the years until we can't even see them through a telescope. In fact, the last few million years in the ring's life, we won't even be able to see them up close with an orbiter. If we are alive at the time that these rings die, we really won't know when to officially say that Saturn no longer has rings, as it's quite a slow and tedious transition. With these two phenomena, NASA estimates that the rings have less than 100 million years to live, which we know is relatively short on the timescale of Saturn's life. If Saturn's rings are slowly fading away, does that mean that Saturn's rings were more vibrant in the past? Well, that would be a safe assumption, yes. Some of the rings won't necessarily show up any better through a telescope, but some of the more faded and hard to see rings may have appeared much more vibrant in the past. Again, we don't know, because even if the first human on Earth recorded what Saturn looked like, there would likely be no difference whatsoever to record. On this timescale, there's always a level of uncertainty that can't be avoided, and that's okay. 
we are always innovating, developing, and pursuing new ideas and methodologies in the realm of science. So who's to say we won't further narrow down how to know what occurred in the past, or what will occur in hundreds of millions of years? Anyways, before I get too existential here, let me wrap up what we do know about Saturn for sure. We know that Saturn's rings are relatively new, and we know that the rings will fade away over time as well. But sometimes, we overlook the now. Saturn's rings exist today, and will keep existing for you, your children, and even your 250th grandchildren. Maybe between now and the ring's death, another planet will gain magnificent rings, like Jupiter or Neptune. Anyways, I hope you learned something new about Saturn's rings in this video. And if you did, like and subscribe, and I hope to make more similar videos. In fact, I already have a video on Neptune's fascinating moon Triton, a moon with more backstory than any other moon in the solar system. Anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day.